In this video, we're going to look at how we can create line charts from our spreadsheets. So there's a link to a so you can make a copy of this spreadsheet in the description of this video. Uh, but we have this data here. Maybe this is some data that's identifying how much it's costing us to produce, what sales we've had, what profit we've had, and then maybe some cumulative profit. So there are a couple of different ways we can insert charts into this uh, into this sheet here. So if I go to insert, I can click chart here which is probably not the simplest way to start off. We can do that and we'll get into how you might do that, but there's actually an easier way to do this. Let's say I just want to chart my, my input cost here. I can actually just click and drag and select all of these values here and then click insert chart and Google Sheets will build me this nice chart, which is kind of what I intended for the most part uh, right off the bat. So uh, you can see here it's selecting a line chart, which is a pretty good, you know, for this data, it's pretty good uh, representation. It's showing me the date on the x-axis. It's showing me the inputs, the cost of inputs on the series here, the the the, uh, the y-axis, the output here. And I could, you know, I could flip this around, but that's not really going to give me what I need. That seems kind of weird. So we'll go ahead and uncheck that. Uh, I can use row one as headers. If I don't do that, it's going to just pull that off completely. Uh, but it looks a little bit better when I have a, a header. It just kind of identifies what it is I'm doing here. Uh, in column A, if I don't use that as labels, it doesn't really matter here because column A is actually just used for my input data. Um, so you can see it kind of comes up with a good default right off the bat. Uh, and I can customize this a bit. You know, I can change the backgrounds. I can change all sorts of things there. Uh, I can modify my titles. So I can, you know, like if I want to say input costs over time, I can go ahead and change that. You can see that modifies this here. I can change the fonts that I'm using. I can make my title bold. I can modify these things. I can actually just double click and modify them as well. Uh, and you can see that this allows me to really edit a lot of these things pretty easily. So a legend, I want to put a legend. Maybe I want that on the top instead of on the right. I can change that pretty easily as well. Or maybe I don't want a legend at all. So this legend is just this little area that tells uh, the user what the lines mean, you know, what the, the purpose of each one of these lines, uh, lines are. Uh, we can also set grid lines to where we can customize these. So you can say like, oh, maybe I don't want any grid lines on the, on the majors here, but maybe I want seven you know you can modify how this looks or i can just make it auto for most purposes auto is going to be okay we don't necessarily need to customize a lot of these and maybe we want to make this you know we have all these minor good lines which is going to make it a little bit busier but maybe for real mathematical data something i really want to analyze maybe that makes it a little bit easier to kind of figure out what's what you know so if i made this like four i would know that each one or i'm sorry let's make that three then I would know that each one of these lines corresponds to about $250 in value. So, you know, it might help me to identify this a little bit more effectively. So you've got a lot of different options here for how you show this. And then we can go ahead and close and we can move this around. Maybe we move this out of the way a little bit. We can resize it, you know, so that we can get it right over here on the right side. Or, you know, we've got, let's go ahead and click our pull down here and we could move this to our own sheet even so we can change this you know so let's go ahead and click move to own sheet and now we can call this input costs over time and match our title maybe we don't even want a title if we have this in its own sheet but you can see here this allows me to observe this data and i can see well there's a trend here my costs are going down um, my costs are kind of slowly increasing, but that might actually not tell me the whole picture. So maybe I'd like to see what the sales are. So another way I can create a chart is I can insert chart and then instead of trying to see it's, this is not at all what I want. This is not good. So now I have to actually change my, uh, inputs here. So let's say I want a line chart. I want another line chart and I want my X axis to be, uh, let's go ahead and edit that. We'll go instead of a one to C one, we'll go ahead and select some data. So we'll hit this and just select this value these values here we'll say our x-axis is going to be uh, one see it's telling me one row required here because I don't have and let's go ahead and uncheck some of these things here so uh, we'll go ahead and remove one of these and we'll just say uh, edit this and we'll make this a1 through a21 there we go and we'll make this one our sales so we'll edit that and we'll make this c1 through C21 and now you can see this is what our sales look like so you know our sales are pretty steady but it looks like we're trending upward here at the end of this period 
and you know we could change the the title here if we want to just double click on that or we want to go into the customize tab and modify that chart so let's say sales over time so nice easy way to, to construct our chart you know based on the date now this might actually also not qu quite tell us the whole picture uh, so we can select this chart and move it over here we can just leave this one where it is maybe we want to make it a little bit smaller uh, maybe we want to edit this chart so that we put the legend on the bottom so let's go ahead and customize and uh, we'll click uh, legend and we'll go ahead and select that move that to the bottom there we go and maybe we don't want this value on the left at all let's go ahead and we'll just say just delete this value so let's double click and there we, oh we deleted the whole chart that's not quite as good so we can get that back we just do edit undo and that's going to give me my chart back so we've got this chart here and this is okay but we probably want a chart that's going to tell us a little bit more so let's go ahead we'll delete this chart we can easily delete a chart by clicking our pull down menu and click delete chart or we can just hit click the chart itself and hit our delete button and that's going let's try that again there we go Let's close this and then hit our delete button. There we go. So that chart's all gone. But what we might want is a, is kind of looking at all of these lines together. So we can look at multiple lines in the same line chart. We'll go ahead and select all of this data and we'll insert a chart. And now we can see what all these lines look like together. So let's go ahead and move this to its own, to, uh, its own sheet because this is going to be pretty big. Now we can kind of see just by default, we get a pretty good chart here, but we can see what our trends are. We have a cumulative profit line, which looks like our profit is increasing. And that's kind of something that might not be obvious from uh, from our original chart or original data. So you can see there's a decline here in our profit and then we're kind of moving upward again. And if we compare this, maybe we don't want that one line. Maybe we don't want our cumulative profit because it's kind of changing the way we're looking at the rest of our data we can just very easily select that pull down and, and click remove for any one of these lines we don't like so now we can see well our sales and our profit you know they're kind of aligned pretty well here and you can see our costs and our costs have been pretty steady throughout all of this time uh, but our sales you know we can see we've kind of had steady sales but then towards the end of our period here we've really moved up so uh, we can see there's a big dip in our profit here you know right around uh, August 8th uh, but then we can see it's kind of picking up again so something like this might say well you know what we've got pretty steady sales some some decline whatsoever what or some decline summarized here but also a nice pickup at the end so while the data might look you might look at the data and say all right well our profit looks down kind of here for a while you might look at the chart and say well it's probably not quite so bad so it can be used for visualizing this a little bit more effectively so you can experiment with this. You can try to create some of your own line charts. Uh, like I said, this spreadsheet, uh, its link will be in the description. So you'll be able to easily make a copy of this. Just go to File, make a copy, and then you can kind of create your own line charts and see how to work with this data. Thanks for watching. And in, a, in our next couple of videos, we'll check out a few other of the charts that you can create in Google Sheets.